Bills fans just couldn't do it. They couldn't stay happy. The Bills go 14 and 2, making it to the playoffs, winning the AFC East. Everything's looking great. And then the NFL releases the playoff schedule. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this NFL wildcard weekend schedule edition of Believer's Talk where we're going to talk about the NFL's wildcard weekend and the scheduling, especially for our Buffalo Bills. Again, guys, thank you for joining me on Believer's Talk. My name is Joe. If you're new to this channel, guys, please be sure to make sure you hit that subscribe button as we keep you covered on all of Buffalo sports, including our Buffalo Bills. Watch as we keep you up to date throughout, hopefully, a long playoff run and join me for every single game as I give you live player play and reaction to the Buffalo Bills playoff games and that includes this Saturday as the Buffalo Bills play the Indianapolis Colts. So we want to talk about the NFL scheduling these wild card football games. A lot of Bills fans upset about the fact the Buffalo Bills have the first game on the weekend slate of games and I'm not gonna lie I'm not one of them. I'm actually in the opposite camp, and I'll tell you why. But first, let's talk about this schedule. And as you're watching this video, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about the NFL scheduling the Buffalo Bills for that 1 o'clock time slot. How do you think it will affect this team? And do you think it is a positive or negative thing that the Bills have the first game? of the 2020 wildcard schedule. So looking at this schedule, again, the first game, 105 start on Saturday, the Buffalo Bills play the Indianapolis Colts. Remember, there are actually six wildcard games this weekend due to the fact there's an additional uh, playoff team in each conference. So a triple header on Saturday followed up by a triple header on Sunday. You got to love good football and that will have plenty of it this weekend. So it starts off on Saturday with the Buffalo Bills hosting the Indianapolis Colts. Again, guys, join me here for live play by play and reaction to that game. As we watch it together, we can talk about our Buffalo Bills. And then the second game, we go over to the NFC at 440. You have the Seahawks hosting the LA Rams, a um, divisional matchup there, two NFC West teams. So that should be a fun one to watch. The third time they'll be playing each other this season. I believe the Seahawks won both the regular season matchups. Let's see how Goff does if he's able to come back for this game. And then the nightcap, you got Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road playing against the Washington football team. The Washington football team winning the NFC East with seven wins. So we're going to see how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers able to handle that number two ranked defense. That's going to be a better matchup, I think, than some people are giving it credit for. Should be fun to watch as well. Not to be outdone, you move on to Sunday and Sunday at one o'clock. I think this is the best game of the weekend, to be honest with you. You got the Baltimore Ravens really hot right now going into Tennessee, playing Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans. I'm going to look forward to that matchup, an AFC matchup that will also help determine who the Bills play if the Bills are to win on Saturday. Then you got the 440 game, the Chicago Bears, Dub Bears, going into New Orleans playing Drew Brees and the Saints. I think this game, it has the potential to be the biggest blowout of the weekend. And then the Sunday night cap, another divisional matchup, another divisional rivalry game. They just played week 17. It's going to look a little bit different week uh, in the wild card weekend when the Cleveland Browns go to Heinz Field and play the Pittsburgh Steelers at 815 to close out your wild card weekend. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, two triple headers for the NFL is really a good thing for everyone. Uh, I think everyone's going to have a good time watching this. If you're still not a fan of that seventh playoff team getting in, again, 14 teams out of 32 now getting into the playoffs, I don't know what to tell you. I feel the same way as I did about Thursday Night Football. I wasn't a huge fan when it came out, but at the same time, I'm not going to stop watching uh, fo uh, good football. And that's what we have here. We have a lot of good, potentially good football games. But mostly I want to talk about the Buffalo Bills, right? Again, as the schedule came out, as we've heard that the Bills have the one o'clock Saturday time slot, I saw a lot of Bills Mafia getting upset about this fact. And I don't understand why. Like, I hear your reasons. I listen to them. And it's I'm not saying that they're not valid actual reasons. But at the same time, there's nothing that that is a disadvantage to the Bills. There's not a disadvantage to the Colts as well. And in fact, moving forward, if the Buffalo Bills are to win this weekend, it really is a big advantage for the Buffalo Bills. So first, let's talk about the Buffalo Bills 
at the number two seed. They beat the Miami Dolphins, of course, on Sunday, beating them 56 to 26, second most points ever by a Buffalo Bills team. Uh, and the Buffalo Bills guaranteed themselves the number two overall seed, which means they play the worst seed in the AFC with a win by the Colts over the Jaguars and the loss to the Bills by the Dolphins that becomes the Indianapolis Colts. So the Bills play the Colts and uh, I'm, again, I'm looking forward to this matchup. Looking forward to Frank Reich coming back to Buffalo where he led the biggest comeback in NFL history. So the Bills play the Colts 1 o'clock Saturday. Again, join me here on Believers Talk Live Club Play and reaction to that game. And Bills fans think that this does not give a Bills team enough time to prepare. Um, what I would say that is... The Indianapolis Colts have the same disadvantage. In fact, their disadvantage is a few hours worse than the Buffalo Bills. Remember, the Indianapolis Colts played the 4 o'clock time slot, okay? So that means that even though it's just a couple hours, if you're going to try to use the excuse that, oh, the Bills get shorted a day in prep time because of uh, the Saturday game, so do the Indianapolis Colts. So that should not be an excuse. In fact, that means that the following week, if the Bills are to win on Saturday, that means they get an extra day's rest before their divisional matchup, whoever that should be against. So I know people may be upset about that. Or if the Bills play on Saturday for the divisional round, they would still get an extra day on the other AFC team. The Chiefs have off, so they get the week off. The Bills would have the extra day because you have two AFC matchups on Sunday. So no matter who the Bills play on the individual weekend, as long as we beat the Colts this weekend, we would get an extra day's rest. So again, not sure why people are upset about this. I think it's not a terrible thing, especially given the one o'clock time slot, which means we have all the rest of the day Saturday uh, to watch more football, to celebrate a victory, hopefully, to get drunk and be able to, to sober up on Sunday, uh, to have a good time. Don't think if you're one of the 6,700 or whatever it might be going to the football game, listen, I hope you have a great time. I hope it's a Bills victory. I hope you cheer your heads off. But don't don't think that this is going to be the same type of game day experience that you're used to, okay? For your season ticket holders, you're used to tailgating. When I go to a Bills game, I get there at 10 a.m., I tailgate on morning, 1 o'clock comes, go into the game, and it's a great, pretty much almost an all-day event, right? Don't expect that here. Remember, there's going to be no tailgating, okay? There's only 7,000 less fans there, okay? So it's not, it's one-tenth of the stadium side capacity, I think, is going to be in the stadium. So it's not like you're going to have this big game day experience. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some tailgating. I don't think that the police are going to be able to uh, stop that from happening altogether. But at the same time, if you're expecting the same game day experience, you're just not going to get it. There's not going to be beer floating throughout the, the stadium. Because remember, how are they handling concessions at the game? I'm not sure how they're doing that. If you know, let me know in the comment section. Because uh, I do want, I do, I am curious about how that happens uh, with food and uh, alcohol beverages during the this game. But still, again, I don't think the one o'clock time slot that big of a deal. And one of the bonuses is that Josh Allen could become the first quarterback from the 2018 draft class to win a playoff game. If Josh Allen wins, you know, you have Josh Allen's 0 for 1, you have Lamar Jackson 0 for 2, and you have Baker Mayfield. All three of those guys playing in wild card weekend this year, but Baker has no games played. Like I said, Lamar Jackson 0 for 2 in playoff games and Josh Allen losing last year to the Houston Texans. So Josh Allen could be the first quarterback of the 2018 NFL draft class to say, yeah, I got a playoff win under my belt. Unlike the other guys, you talk about Sam Darnold, talk about Josh Rosen, they haven't even seen the playoffs yet. Baker, this is going to be his first time. He plays on Sunday night and then Lamar plays Sunday afternoon. So I think this gives Josh Allen a good time to shine. You talk about the no prime time game. First of all, Every game can be considered a primetime game because every game has its own time slot. Now, of course, it's going to be 10 a.m. on the on the Pacific Coast here on the East Coast, 1 o'clock. Listen, that hurts the NFL more than it hurts Bill's Mafia, okay? Bill's Mafia, no matter where you're from, you're going to be watching this game. When I do my live streams, I have people join me from all over the world, different countries, different states, all over. They don't care what time it is. They want to watch their Buffalo Bills play. I'm sure it's the same for Colts Nation. You have the Indianapolis Colts 
they're going to watch this game. The the people that impact the most are the wallets of those in the NFL. You talk about Buffalo Bills in prime time, going back to last year, that Thanksgiving game against the Cowboys. The Buffalo Bills bring attention. They bring eyeballs. They, they always have a huge crowd, a huge television audience when the Bills are on prime time. If that's something they want to give up so that Tom Brady can be on, time, on prime time, so that the Pittsburgh Steelers and Browns game can, can be in prime time, that's on them. I'm not worried about that. I know I'm going to be watching the game, and I hope, again, that you guys join me for the game as we watch our Buffalo Bills uh, hopefully get that wild card victory. Like I said before, before we think about extending Josh Allen, I want to see playoff success. The Bills are the better team here. I want to see the Bills win this one. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this time slot. Are you upset? about this early Saturday time slot. Like I said, it means that we can enjoy our victory Saturday as long as the Bills win and we can party all night long and watch some more football and then spend all of Sunday recuperating from what would be a great Saturday evening. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this time slot. I'm not worried about it. Again, you know that we will be live right here covering you live player play reaction to the game between our, our Buffalo Bills and the Indianapolis Colts. Make sure you join me. We could talk Buffalo Bills. We could talk about the playoffs and hopefully watch a win together. Uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, like this video. Like I said, leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.